Hi, this is John from Pipeline FX. Today I'm going to show you how to use a kickstart file that was saved from a previous installation to reproduce the same installation again on another machine. So I have the thumb drive mounted with my local repository. This could also be a network drive. And I'm going to go and run the installer itself. And in the first screen, I am going to load a local kickstart file. And I can see here by the names, I'm looking for QKSs, and I found a, work, a Q worker kickstart. That's the one I want. And now it knows what to do, and it's going to take over from there. This is pretty much all you have to do, and in another video, and later on in this video, I will show you actually how to run this from the command line, so you don't need to even run the user interface at all. And that's all there is to that. Now I'm going to show you how to use that same kickstart file in a command line only environment such as you know so that you can use it perhaps in a batch file or as some sort of other script. So I'm going to start a command prompt with run as admin. I'm going to change directories. And run the installer directly with the kickstart file as an argument. That's all there is to that. I hit enter. The installer will read that kickstart file and perform the installation unattended. The downloading portion is it actually just checking the MD5 signatures to make sure the packages are intact and now it's actually running the installation itself. Done.